all started in October, okay, that in November. Okay, there were heavy rainfalls, and there was a short respite after November. Okay, then December came. Okay, so in the 24 hours before December 1st and 2nd, right, okay, there was very high rainfall uh, recorded, 29.4, 34.5 cm, the highest since 1901. Okay, so the issue was then, therefore, it sometimes is not the average rainfall, it's that sudden downpour within a short period of time. And for those who are familiar with Chennai, there's a lot of rivers there. Okay, because the idea was to collect the water. Okay, that's the idea to collect the water. Right. So they, they serve as what called water reservoirs. And to show you the extent of the problem, there is the airport. Do you remember seeing this picture or you just saw and then probably didn't have an impression? This is the airport. Okay, and you will start to research into what happened, right? Like after the event, the post-mortem, like what happened. Right? So that's what we did. Okay, we had to look at the picture. And what happened was that the, the runway was built over the river with not enough clearance. And way back in 2013, apparently engineers had advised the authorities that it is not right, not good safe practices to actually build the runway over the river with such a low distance of clearance. But because of this incident, I think that when we say incredible India has a new meaning for me. Lah. <laughs> okay, it's incredible India. Lah. Okay, right? You see advertisement, incredible India. Lah. This is incredible India for me. Okay? So it happened despite so called the best uh, so called advice given by engineers to the authorities. They built it. And this is what happened after 2015. In India, it's a different matter. They don't have their own computing device. They are probably not even connected. They don't even have network at home. They can't even work at home if they wanted to. And, and it had to happen in when? December. It coincides with the quarter end for a lot of us. So business was disrupted. Okay, and the thing for us is that we are corporate, right? So we provide a service to our listed entities. We provide finance, uh, so-called accounting uh, processes for our uh, listed entities. So while we may not be so-called regulated, our listed entities are. They are considered a financial institution, so they are regulated. They have a, what we call, they need to report their numbers within a certain time frame after the quarter end. Okay. So that is why we talk about interdependencies, understanding who you provide services for, your customers, all they become very relevant, even though you are, you are not directly so-called subject to the requirements that uh, directly. Okay. So that was what happened. And then um, 